So what is the mark of the beast? There are many videos talking about it, uh, many discussions. Uh, is, it, um, is it a chip or uh, what is it? And some people think, well, it's about the Roman Catholic Church in the past. But um, what I see is that it's all about a beast system on earth, which they are now f rolling out fully. And um, when you go back to Karl Marx, he was a Jew, an Edomite Jew, and the spirit of Marxism is not a new spirit. It does, did not just come into the earth suddenly. Uh, the spirit of Marxism goes all the way back to the garden. This spirit has always hated God's children, um, always wanted to exalt themselves above the children of God, and even above God, and God punished them very often for it, and, and cursed, cursed them. So the spirit of hate, uh, hate for blessings, right? Because children of God live in blessings and they hate it. They, lo they, they look up to it, they want it. That's why you nowadays see that they are stealing things away. And um, that happened in Russia and that happens in all these countries. Look at all these communist countries. They are basically under the control of a few people. And in the movie The Wizard of Oz, made by Jewish filmmakers, they basically told us what is happening. They showed us the B system. All these things that were happening, but in the end they took away the curtain and they saw an old fragile man there. A scary old sad man who controlled everything. But the only reason he could control everything because people uh, thought he was so powerful and in the end it turned out he was not powerful. So the only way uh, the man behind the curtain has power is because of lies and deceits and manipulation. And we see this happening through the media, through, the, through movies and uh, you name it. And um, it's, uh, they have no power if we wake up, right? It's just a few old men, that's it. But they are representing the B system that wants to take everything away and people say well what about uh, the jab and what about all these things yes these these things are being used this whole um, pandemic and all these things that are coming it's all uh, created to to bring about the B system fully because they have tried it before and people just don't want it so now they basically start to force you they will take away, they threaten you. If you don't do it, you lose your job. If you don't do it, you're gonna lose this, your house, your car, and, and now even uh, the gas prices go up and they, they just wanna take everything away from you and put the whole world in bondage, basically. And their own slogan is, um, you will own nothing, but you will be happy. At least that's what they say. But we won't be happy in a B system that is that every aspect of your life is controlled and there is no worship of God in that B system. The B system hates God. Marxism don't want God. Marxism is the spirit who don't want God as your head. It doesn't want you to worship God. It wants you to worship and bow down to them, right? So this mark of the beast what does it mean? Well, it's in your forehead or in your right hand. What does that mean? In your forehead, we also see, saw that Cain in his head received a mark. It was a mark of the thing he was going to bow down to. A, a, a rebellious spirit and um, a spirit that um, is against God and his children. So, if it's in your head, that means... Uh, it's talking about the people who accept the beast system. I mean, we, we see it happening all over the world. People who are not aware or don't want to know what's really going on and they accept everything because they just want to go back to normal. And the more they comply, things only don't, don't go back to normal, right? So it is a consent that's in their head. It is the thing they bow down to, the thing they worship. Worship just means the thing you bow down to. And the thing in your right hand, uh, people say, well, it could be a chip or, or, or a, a tattoo or whatever. Well, all these things, the chips and, and the vaccine passport, all these things are part of that mark. But eventually, the mark will be 
uh, by your deed, your right hand. We see that the right hand of God also uh, is by deeds. It's symbolically for the thing you do. So if you have to mark in your right hand, that does not necessarily mean that you agree with it, and many don't agree, but still out of fear they consent by their deed. So it's going to be in your forehead or in your right hand, right? And even both. So that is the B system, because if you start to consent out of fear instead of faith, because fear is not faith, um, because they, they will force you, they will uh, blackmail you. They're already blackmailing people. If you don't do this, you lose your job. If you don't this, you cannot go there. If you do this, it's all to bring you down to this B system. But Jesus will come back and he will gather his faithful ones and the ones or his 12, he, will, he will bring his 12 tribes together, but also those who did not uh, bow down to the beast, to this beast system. The ones who stayed faithful to God in mind, right? That's why we see that the 12 tribes, 144,000 had a seal in the forehead. There was a seal of faith and... Um, if you have a consent to the B system, you will have that mark on your forehead. And you won't make it in the Millennium Kingdom. So the only ones who will make come out of the tribulation and enter the new Millennium Kingdom when Jesus comes back, those are the ones who did not bow down to the B system.